So, Sergey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I heard the Intel are pretty good friends uh, with Blender, right? Yeah, they're pretty good friends with Intel and uh, Intel developers and Intel development. Nice. How how do they help? How do they are even related to Blender? So there are, of course, interested in getting cycles to run as fast as possible on Intel CPUs, and they support us both by providing some access to some hardware to make sure cycles is run as fast as possible on it. And they also help uh, working on cycle source code. Oh, so actually contributing to the code? First of all, they help a lot understanding how to write good code uh, to help us troubleshooting some performance stuff. But recently, they also started to contribute to cycles directly. I just dump a bit, quite big patches and quite fascinating patches. Nice. So in general, for just for cycles or? Uh, so mainly it is cycles because that's one big hip thing right? <laughs> or until 2.8 is out. But uh, cycles is where the best knowledge is to help us uh, gaining more performance. Uh, so that's the current focus. In... Nice. So it's, it's meant to be work to work better with newer CPUs, right? Newer devices. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So, because if you optimize for some newer CPU, uh, some optimization will also be applicable to older CPUs as well. Because new market architecture doesn't arrive all every new day. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not like hey yeah all this works you need like brand new CPU which just came in the market. It's it's it covers like longer uh, range of, of of CPUs. Nice. So Intel gives you access to your hardware so you can test it? Or... Yes. The, well, well, when something is needed to be tested on the brand new stuff, we do have access to that hardware to make sure our changes are good. And when Intel is working on the patches, they also make sure it works on brand new stuff. So we kind of know that it's something for the future as well. <laughs> nice. So is there any area in particular in cycles that we know like we can test? Uh, so. Where... It actually work started like a few years back, so many of the things already used in by many users and many productions. So they started with making sure that we use vectorization, like single instruction, multiple data, as much as possible. And that was a long-standing to-do in cycles. And it was disabled for a long time just because it was slower <laughs> than the native code. So that was the first thing they did. And then they just started from there, like getting test scenes, seeing where the bottlenecks are, and optimizing that part, mainly using seamed instructions. So for example, they optimized uh, curved hair segments and triangle intersections using AVX2. That was the first thing they did, I think that was around a year ago, to run on CPUs which were already in the market for a long time. And that, <laughs> and that gave quite measurable speed up. And then from there, we kept working on triangle intersection because we wanted to be watertight, but also be very robust for cases when the object is 5,000 <laughs> units away from the origin, which is always a pretty issue from the precision point of view. And after that, uh, there, there, that's where I'm not sure they find the exact event name. So that's where they probably was say, hey, yeah, how can we you know this? But uh, there is a Google Summer of Code where yeah. students participate and work on open source. Intel had something similar last year. So there was actually a Russian student, uh, Anton Gavrikov, who was interested in getting into all the slow level stuff. And uh, he worked together with Maxim Dmitrychenko. That's the guy I work most of the time with. And with help of uh, Victoria Gilina, I believe, uh, they worked on BVH8 support. It's uh, wider, like, it's like BVH is a tree, and huh? 8 means that hey, every node has 8 children, and then every, every like all the children intersected with one command, right? Oh, okay. And so for an artist, what does it mean? Uh, for artist, it means faster render. Faster render, okay, that yes. I understand. Yes, so for, for, for uh, 
like the tricky part is it's quite visible in more complicated scenes. It's not so visible in default group. From the default group, it's even slower. But they started doing this uh, feature, and it's actually now in uh, master, and it will be in 2.8 AT initial release even. Okay. And stuff doesn't even stop here. They also did a bucketed triangle intersection. So with one intersection command, you can intersect eight triangles to one ray. So it's kind of also like minimize some amount of CPU ticks needed to find an intersection. So faster render. The, the, yes, that's also faster render. Like those speedups that I was talking about, BVH8, it's actually combined with the bucketed uh, intersection. And that's also in master now and it's testable and you can compare like before and after using like previous <laughs> release and that's uh, part of 2.80 initial release but to my knowledge they're still like looking strong into uh, other aspects of cycles because we also have shading we have uh, displacement and other stuff there's so much room for technical side of optimizations and to my knowledge, that's what they are doing now. <laughs> and uh, you'll see how it all goes. Wow, so we can expect more improvements on cycles soon-ish in terms of speed. In terms of speed, I hope so, yes. There is one big thing which actually was started by Tangent and uh, I believe Intel was also collaborating with them to get Imbri. In, 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 in cycles. Nice. There are some technical stuff remains to be done, but uh, we, we, we are going to work on this. That's one of the aspects. The other aspect is like photo shading and uh, some threading stuff because some parts of cycles are still single threaded. Don't say that. Uh, <laughs> we, that can, we can cut this. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Everybody knows. But we, what I can say is that with 2.8 multi threading, that part which is single threaded becomes so much easier oh okay that's good yeah i actually started looking into that few years back and i had the initial patch and i ran into limitations of 2.7 seven. like 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 six seven design which didn't how to move thread that without crashes in <laughs> production files but now that part can be multi-threaded because of all the changes in the new dependency graph in 2.8 uh, yes, yes, because now we don't need to worry about, hey, like there is viewport which needs to access that in the viewport resolution. There is cycle which needs to access the same that in render resolution. No, everybody has its own data. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets his candy and, <laughs> and we can put more candies like at the same time now. Wow, oh, yeah. that's amazing. So from, from 280 uh, and and uh, future, we can expect the uh, cycles to get faster, more multi-traded. Areas that it's missing. Yeah, yes, because I don't think we, we, we can put more into 2.80 release, like uh, 2.80 yeah, no, zero. Yeah, so it will be 81. Because 2.8 is like more like a series, right? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about like 10 years future, probably. <laughs> but definitely there is more optimizations coming. So besides cycles, are there any other areas in Blender that could get optimized um, for just stuff? <laughs> uh, yes, so there is not a secret anymore, like for a <laughs> year or three years now that Intel came up with Optane memory, which they are pushing quite strong to SSD segment. And uh, the benefit compared to regular SSD is that it has faster random access. So if you need to read like this chunk of memory, then this chunk, and then this chunk, it happens more faster on Optane memory than with regular SSDs. And we are trying to invest, investigate if trying to use SSD for stuff like smoke simulation, where we have like all those random domain being written here and there, can be faster on obtained memory. And the particles cache can also be beneficial from this. But this is like all like research step to, to understand like if there is any potential because yeah. there are more stuff in there. So you said one last thing. Yes. Well, it's not the last thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Okay. One more thing. <laughs> yes. yes. One more thing is to my knowledge, uh, Intel recently open sourced their implementation of uh, 
Kafka codec, which is which was heavily optimized for Xeon processors and it's probably also means it runs on i7. And that part is also on the way to FFmpeg library. And Blender uses FFmpeg for video I.O. So that's another aspect of Blender which gets uh, Improve. improved with Intel work. So you're saying that Intel is helping the video sequencer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. we, we can we can uh, PR that yes, way. <laughs> yes. Intel totally supports uh, the video, project, sequ <laughs> video sequencer project. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so writing OpenGL renders like uh, play blasts, um, like everything, everything that uses uh, video and yes. encoding, decoding. Yes, yes, that's like everything because in, in Blender we can output video from so many places. <laughs> yeah. Sequencer, compositor. Uh, the movie motion. Uh, Tracker, Just play blast. Motion track is only reading, but that's also. Then it's already good enough, right? <laughs> uh, well, when you have, when when we prefetch, when we used to have Viki yeah. prefetch, then then it's fine. But for their initial filling in stuff, then that's what also going to be optimized. Awesome! So uh, that's that's amazing. So cycles. Smoke simulation for like with hard drive faster and stuff. Yes. And FFmpeg. Amazing. Yes, yes that's quite that's that's quite great. That's, that's and was he threaded cycles for real now in 2.8? Yes, that that would be so awesome. That's like Christmas in November. <laughs> oh, in the next coming years, it's gonna take a while. Uh, it's good well, to know it's being worked on. Some of the stuff will arrive sooner than later. So okay. maybe some stuff. Not maybe not for this Christmas because 2.8 next year deadlines early next year but there are many things that are already in 2.8 so yeah. they will be part of 2.80 awesome yes, amazing yes. so thank you very much very excited you're very much welcome yeah okay thank you <laughs>